Hi everyone, welcome to this next session on Unknown Learning Series. In this session, we will discuss about what is API Hub. Many of your companies are already moving from conventional ECC system to S4 HANA system. And the most important question, which is now these days, your business is asking is how would you achieve integrations? At a time in your company, you would probably have variety of cloud solutions. And these cloud solutions also needs to be integrated now. In order to achieve this integration, you would need some medium. So typically in a, in a conventional ERP system, we used to have BAPIs. BAPIs are also act like as APIs. As you can see, BAPI, B-A-P-I, it's a business application programming interface. On a similar lines, SAP also now allows us to integrate their SAP cloud and on-premise solution with the help of these APIs. The API typically in this sense here are nothing but the services which are whitelisted and published by SAP to achieve integrations. You can achieve cloud to cloud or cloud to on-premise integrations as well. These APIs will help you to build also side-by-side -side extensions in case you're going for S4 HANA cloud implementation. So let's look at of what is an API typically responsible for. As you can see in this slide, an API acts as a center bridge for your cloud services and your digital application. So this bridge basically allows your applications to interact and access the data securely over the cloud in uh, for the solutions which you have. So let's imagine on the right hand side you have your cloud solution as S4 HANA cloud. On the left hand side you have a business application which you would like to create and this business application needs to take data from S4 system. How would you achieve such integration? So as an external developer, partner company or an internal developer in your company, you would be using these APIs which are provided by SAP and they're proclaimed to be the whitelisted API, which means you can go ahead and use them without any, uh, without any problem. Of course, you need to have all the necessary security arrangements in place, all the necessary um, communication arrangements in place based on solution to solution. So for example, if you're going with SAP S4 on a cloud implementation, we have concepts of communication scenarios. We need to implement that, but that's a different topic. That's something which is covered on my S4 on a cloud implementation course, which you can subscribe to and get more details about it. So as you can see here, an API is acting as a bridge for integration. Just like in conventional ERP, you used to use BAPIs for accessing the data from ECC. Similarly here, you are going to use APIs. But now the question comes, where can we find these details? Where can we find which API to use for sales order, which API to use for material products, purchasing or, or purchase orders, purchasing contracts, quotations, where can we find them? So API Hub is the answer. API Hub is nothing but allows you to look at the documentation of all these APIs. So another application, as you can see here, APIs not just allows you to build side-by-side -side applications, but they also allows you to integrate SAP cloud solutions. As you can see on the top left corner, there are different SAP cloud solutions like Ariba, Fieldglass, Hybris, SuccessFactor. And then in the center, we have SAP S4 HANA, which is available in two of the flavors as S4 HANA on-premise and S4 HANA cloud, or could be third-party OP systems, which you have. Now to integrate it, S4 HANA here acts as a central unit, which has lots of APIs, whitelisted APIs exposed. And these whitelisted APIs allows third-party cloud applications, SAP's own cloud applications to integrate together all these solutions. Now the question comes, what else API Hub can offer? API Hub not just offer the documentation or these whitelisted APIs and about details about this whitelisted API, but it also allows you to test quickly these APIs and figure out what are all the offerings they have. Together with that, it also offers the prepackaged integration content. Let's go to the API Hub 
uh, explore a little bit more. So that we will just jump into api.sap.com. This is called API Hub, SAP Business API Hub. And you can see on SAP Business API Hub, it basically allows us to discover and consume the digital content packages with APIs, pre-packaged integrations, and sample apps for SAP and select uh, and select partners. Yeah. So if you look at here, uh, there are different different APIs which are offered for different solutions, including S4 HANA Cloud, SAP S4 HANA, which is on-premise, C4 HANA CRM for uh, HANA. Success factors, Field Glass, Conquer, Reba, and Cloud Platform. So a lot of these APIs are whitelisted APIs. Together with that, here it offers a variety of content like APIs, uh, SAP Machine Learning, Leonardo APIs, integration APIs, as well as digital content in, in the public cloud. So now if you would like to integrate uh, or build an external application which resides outside your S4 HANA system, and you want to still uh, remain integrated with S4 HANA system by accessing its data, you would probably go with uh, API Hub, first of all, to explore if you have a whitelisted API already available here. So for that, we just jump in, and now we can click on SAP S4 HANA Cloud, and you can see it shows me SAP S4 HANA Cloud APIs, and maybe I can just go for view more. It takes me now a dedicated page for S4 HANA Cloud, and you can see here all the whitelisted APIs. So the typical BAPI, uh, BAPIs are also exposed as a SOAP API. So if you see broadly, there are two categories of API in, from the technology side. One is OData based APIs and another is SOAP APIs. So SOAP are the ones which are created on top of your conventional BAPIs. Yeah. So you would find one of those uh, categories here in the overall list of these APIs. At the same time, you can also observe here the, uh, the APIs. You can see 34 APIs on Marketing Cloud, Success Factor, and maybe I, I can see here 282 APIs are there. And by the time when you are watching this video, this number is subjected to increase or reduce. And by far, there are 0.3 million people who have explored these APIs. So just go inside S4 in the cloud. And now you can see here the list of APIs in form of these tiles for different different purpose. You can see sales order, quotation, uh, customer returns, financial planning data, accounting, so purchase contract, all these different variety of business objects are um, are accessible by these APIs. So in general terms, uh, basically, ultimately, what do, what do they do? They allow us to read, create, update, delete the data in SAP S4 system. And uh, just beneath the each of the tile, you can also see the type of the protocol it uses. So you can see a lot of these OData APIs are there. However, you can find some of them are SOAP APIs as well, which you can consume. So now, how can I explore a little more about it? So for that, suppose I want to um, I want to work around or I want to see uh, if I would like to read sales order data uh, from SAP S4 HANA sense system, uh, what would be the format I would be receiving so that I can look in into it and I can accordingly design my application or Fury application or maybe a, a complete uh, cloud application, native cloud application, which remains integrated with S4. So I go into sales order without charge, probably the first one. And yeah, you can see here that it can be used for create, update, delete uh, um, the sales orders, uh, the sales orders without charge. And now you can see here this uh, list of operations. So basically get is to read, post is to create a new one, get is again to read a single sales order then patch is to update delete is to uh, delete a sales order so let's give a try up over here uh, by uh, just uh, checking if i can read some sales order data so by the way guys here there is a sandbox which is available and the sandbox is uh, it's behind the system there is there is a system uh, an actual system which has some data inside yeah and this sandbox allows you to basically test these apis so SAP already has a sandbox connected behind the scene. We would probably not have a direct access to it, but this API hub is connected to that sandbox environment. And then this sandbox is basically uh, simulates or mocks the data for you uh, to just uh, have a, a good experience, a real life, a real life experience about uh, how does this uh, format looks like, what is the data uh, format, and what, what are the different properties this API expose. So let's uh, do a simple get. And I just click on get. 
And as you all aware of OData Service Basics, and those who are not aware of OData Service Basics, please go and look at uh, my video on OData Basics on YouTube, or you can also subscribe to my SAP UI5 and theory training for that matter. Now over here, if you can see uh, for typical OData Service, we have these different parameters which we can pass, uh, top is give fit, uh, inline count, or buy, select, and expand. Uh, for association and uh, I would like to give a try for this API so I just say try out please and maybe I just want to get top five records and I just keep click on down nothing else I'm touching and I just click on execute so you would see at the bottom here uh, you would see some data will be popping up in a in a, in a minute when I click on uh, execute so now I say execute and it connects to the system which is behind the scene and it uh, fetches you the data so this is the complete call it's basically going to the sandbox uh, which which we which we just discussed about and this is the the endpoint your end point which it is going and this is the entity set of the OData service calling so uh, now if you just come down you would see here that it has returned me some records of course it's in the JSON format and you see we have got a couple of records so suppose um, now you would know that okay these are all the properties this api would give me and accordingly i can design a fury application in sap cloud platform to uh, to consume the data from here and then display that to the user as a as a side by side extension you can also download this json payload and you can also look at analyze the response headers uh, if at all you want to um, ever want to look at the documentation uh, for the for the headers of the API now suppose let's give a try a little bit more I don't want all the properties rather I just want the description of the sales order the type of the sales order uh, distribution channel division and uh, sales organization and that too I just want descriptions of all these things so I want sales organization description uh, division description organization description sales order description sales order type and I also want the order number. So let's come back up here. And you know, maybe I just want to also see the sold to party. And uh, maybe this description of sold to party along with its ID. And then I would not need the sales order number. Well, let's check it out. Document region. Uh, what is the number? So we can just scroll down and see where we have the sales order number property. So we should be having that. It's sales order without charge. That's the sales order number. So just come on the top. Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah. So now I have uh, mentioned the system. Hey, I would like to just get uh, only few property. I'm so sorry. I by mistake selected the order by. So I want to order uh, the data based on sales order charge, and I want to select sales order charge, uh, sales order organization. Let me just select those properties. So basically, this will apply a dollar order to select. So I selected these uh, six properties out of all. And now, once again, we click on execute. And I would like to sort my uh, orders based on sales order uh, number. So let's click on execute. And now you can see it just returns only a few properties, not all of them. So this way, you will uh, minimize the, the, the load of the data as a basic principle of the REST APIs or uh, the OData service protocol. We can minimize the data transfer. With that, we can also achieve the desired performance. Uh, not at all, uh, you can implement paging by implementing also the skips. So suppose I want to skip first five records and load the next five ones. You can do that. And I just can come back and click on once again execute. And it would now skip the first five records and loads me the next five records. Awesome. So that's the beauty. And probably I would also want only maybe as uh, um, the orders where the sales organization is 1710 so we can also go back and define here uh, filter, dollar filter so we can just say dollar filter where uh, it's equals to um, I want all, all, only the records where the sales organization is equal to my 1710 as the value and just click on execute. And now you see if there is a syntax uh, error, then it gives you this standard error, error response. So we can check here what it has built. So you can come here and check what it is building over here. So filter, 
uh, equals to filter of sales organization uh, is EQ uh, this value. But I'm not sure that why it's not building it correct. I think we just have to pass the filter. This condition, we don't have to pass dollar filter explicitly because dollar filter is you know, added naturally. Just have to pass the condition and let's give a try one more time. So come down and wow, there you go. You can see it now only fetches the sales orders which are uh, having the sales organization as 1710. So this is how you can actually go ahead and test these APIs uh, with the help of this sandbox, which is available. And this helps you a lot um, to explore uh, the APIs, explore the association and all the options and entity sets as part of the API offered by SAP, which you can uh, use it because it's whitelisted. Yeah. So that's the whole idea of API Hub. I hope uh, this session was helpful for you. For more information, uh, you can always go to my website, onlinetheorytrainings.com, and there you can subscribe uh, the latest technology courses, uh, starting from scratch, the very basics, uh, SAP Wi-Fi Fury or Ababon HANA or Odita services, uh, whatever technical learning you would need today to survive or grow in your career, it's all available on our website. Uh, you can subscribe to the courses. We have some amazing courses here hosted uh, for you to give you a depth and end-to-end -end, uh, knowledge on different topics, technical topics, which is must, which is a need today. So it's really difficult these days to uh, know the right knowledge, uh, learn the right things to uh, to be able to uh, perform well and deliver the work which your organization is expecting from you. And we here at OnlinePureTrainings.com make sure that you would always get the best, you will always get the right guidance. And uh, with that, uh, you will be able to uh, deliver the, the work items in your company. Uh, even you can also check our YouTube channel, which is um, available on YouTube. And uh, this is the learning university we have uh, created for you since years to give you the best content on the internet, uh, on the technical learnings on SAP area. With that, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye.